Here we go again, back with more Pro Cycle Mandia after a really exciting Giro d'Italia. We're now back again in the World Tour races, this time to the Swiss, then do, choose to do the Dauphin de Libre. But I wanted to do one of them anyway, as, since I'm not doing Tour de France this year. I've decided that I'm doing the World Time instead. And then hopefully getting a good placement there. I'm not counting on the Peloton in the World Time Spender being as weak as it was in Giro d'Italia, where it was pretty easy for me to actually dominate. I'm expecting at least one of Quintana, uh, Contador of Room, maybe Aru as well to be there. And all of them can probably beat me if they're doing great. I think they're in great shape. But yeah, we're doing the Tour de Suisse. Consists of two time trials, a short prologue to uh, begin with and a long one to end up with. Then we have two hill states in a row and this mountain stage here. And that's pretty much it. The rest is flat stage and this is the final time trial. So let's just get the first time trial underway. Okay, here we are. It's finally my turn. And even though I'm the world time trial champion, of course, defending champion, my product is actually only 72. So it's going to be really tough to, to win this stage. I wasn't even close to being a favorite. Put on uh, 75 or 80 here. I don't really know what kind of pace I should go out with. It's only a five kilometer long stage. So it's going to end really quickly. And it's pretty much about getting up to a high speed and then holding that speed for as long as possible in real life. In this, it's just about finding the highest possible speed you can endure for the longest possible time. So yeah, I have Gilbert, uh, two Belgians on either side of me, 76 Gilbert is actually pretty good uh, at these short prologues, these short time trials as it is pretty much is. And I get 12th. Honestly, I think that's a great result. Uh, just looking at competition, as just you can see what I'm up against. I'm up against Contador and Fabio Roux, and Richie Paul, Joaquin Rodriguez, Valverde, Kreuzvik. Let's see, is there anyone else uh, stuck behind here that we can't see? Tom Dumoulin, I don't really know. I don't think he's that good in this. Actually, yes. 75 mountains and 79 hills, so he is pretty good. Of course, the Sarna always has a great team. Aru, Fulsang, Nibali, Pinot. Garden. Look at this. This is just such a stacked team. Molema as well from Quick Step. So, yeah. And Medor, of course, not going to be that much of a threat. But I'm hoping for top 5, top 3 overall in this tour. Okay, I ended up finish, finishing 27th, as you can see here, overall in the Bullock. Best result of the team. And actually, a pretty good result because most of the other favorites finished like a few seconds in front of behind me. So, not bad, not good. Okay, result, which I'm happy about. This is the first of two hill stages, and looks like this. Uh, two category two climbs ended up with two category one climbs. Category one climb means it's pretty tough, of course, and it actually looks pretty steep just looking at it here. So I think we can uh, we'll see some gaps here, and hopefully I'll be with the top guys here. Sadly, I'm pretty close to leveling up, and I haven't already, and I haven't done so yet, which is sad because I am training in um, in Puncher right now, which improves my hill stats by quite a bit. So I was hoping to level up before these hill stages to hopefully get a bit of improvement and having an easier time on these stages. Here we are at the end of the second stage, the first hill stage, and we're almost at the climb. The progress just reached it. I'm hoping I get some water before, but I still have a bit left, so probably should manage to get over this hill. I'm try I will try to set a pretty tough pace on this climb here. Because I I'll just need I pretty much need to go now to get a, a good speed boost onto the climb. I maybe even started a bit too late anyway. And of course I have always have a teammate who's both blocking and helping me by sitting here. He's protecting me a bit, so I don't lose that much energy. But on the other hand, he is also uh, blocking me so to from achieving my pre prepared speed. Consador, Aro, Trofimov, Garcia. I am actually getting a little, uh, little old to the Peloton here, but I think they will catch up with me again. Or maybe not. I don't know what's going on right here. It is still Bilro working really hard. And me just thinking on his wheel. Trofimov, De Rohan Dennis, uh, Contador, of course, as well. Kentilav. There's a lot of quick, quick step riders on, in this team as well. Who's really going to hill status. They also have Kwiatkowski, who's... Probably their captain for this stage, but consider, of course, the captain for the overall victory. Aru attacks here. Or maybe not attacks, but just accelerates. Is this an attack here? Yeah, Trophy Marv, Aru, Alaphilippe. 
as we enter the last kilometer of the climb. I would have liked this Spielro guy to get away now. I think there's a couple of fossil riders who created a small gap over the, over the top here. But still a pretty great result, I would say. Staying with the top riders. Now we can relax a bit here on the downhill, save up some energy on the flat section, and hopefully do a similar thing once we hit the next climb. There's two Katusha riders, uh, Aru Jungels. Is Jungels actually in the... yeah, he's in the green dress, I think. No, actually, he's actually in the leading dress. I, I thought uh, Derpich won the last stage. Uh, it's your Derpich won it, but apparently didn't. But it's only by, I mean, one hundredth of a second, so not that surprising anyway. 85 riders, nobody getting water for me. Nice. Okay, it's Laporte has gone down to got water again, but again, he's just too slow to do it. Because now he's almost fallen off from the pace again. And I can't go down myself, it'll be pretty much suicide doing so. So I, I think I'm pretty in a pretty terrible position right now. Because I'm re getting water really helps regen regening your uh, energy, and I have no water right now. So I, if I get thirsty, I'm in big trouble. Oh, the port is coming up. Oh yes. Going 90 now. Still three kilometers to the top. I think that it was a room maybe getting away there. Was it? I can't really tell. It was a road to Mulan with the port. 95 is a really tough pace setting right here. I put it down to uh, 95. was way too optimistic, I think. I shouldn't have gone with that. Joaquin Rodriguez. 80, 90 is pretty fast as well. I need to slow down now. I want to have a chance. But sitting up here with these kind of riders is, is a good result. The Mulan is a great hill specialist as well. Ali Philippe, Richie Port, and always the only three guys in front of me right now. As I have pretty much died out now. But it seems like most of the riders behind me has so as well. I think Jungels and Matthews just got a tiny gap to me, uh, Molema and Geschke here. I have a little six man group here, five guys in front of us. Top 10 place on this stage would be great. I don't know. If I'm regaining right now, there's a flat section at the end of four or five kilometers, so a flat road towards the finish. You can see the, the pace isn't really that high right now for none of the riders. Nobody's really gaining or anything on each other right now, but I think I'll lose some time once we hit the sprint as well, because they seem like they have more energy left than me, the guys on the breakaway. Yeah, they have to end the sprint. End of 11th place, I think. Yeah, 11th place. Um, Philippe Bonde stays in front of Michael Matthews and Aru. It's actually a pretty good result. I'm surprised by it. Positive surprise, of course, but... Yeah. It's not a hill stage tomorrow. Hopefully I can duplicate this result. And gain some time on the rest on the last time trial. And, of course, on the mountain stage. Probably not gain time on Contador and Aru. Maybe on the time trial I'll, I'll gain time on them. But mountain stage will be pretty tough to do so. Let's see the results. So these are the results right now. I ended up in 11th place, of course, 10th overall, um, just in the top 10, same time as Keshke. And last time I went in 20 seconds to these five fighters up here. I'm mostly worried about, of course, Richie Paws and Aru. The rest of the guys should fall off on the mount status. Maybe Ella Flip can do a great result if he is in shape to do so. At least he won today, so he's proven he's in kind of good shape. Dumoulin calls a great time trial rider. Again, if he can hang on the mountain stage, he should be doing well as, should be doing good as well. Well, that, not so much. I think I should beat him. Nibali, I've proven he's around the same level as me right now. But I should be a better time trialer than him. Contador, he's actually a great time trialer. I, I don't think I'll be Contador. And yeah, Mulema as well. And I don't think any of the rest here is that important. And I'll gain time on all these riders, which is a great result. Even beat Philip Gilbert. Don't know what he was doing today. Here we have the profile for the third stage. Looks pretty interesting actually. I don't really know if I if it's if there's any point using it you know, on the on the big out of category mountain HC mountain, or if I should just save up energy for the last two two climbs, which doesn't look that scary at all. 
the, the, the first one doesn't look like scary either, but it's just really long. It's like 30 or 40 kilometers long. So if you set a pace up early and just hold it, people are really going to be tired following your wheel. So I, I might do that just to see what happens. Of course, I will not be able to drop Contador or Riders of his, his caliber, but still, it could be pretty interesting to see what's going on. Let's just get it started. Okay, this is the last two climbs. Nothing really happened on the big HC calorie climb. And now I'll just be sitting as usual on hill stages, taking my own pace up, and hopefully I'll be in the front group once we get over the top of this climb. And I'll do the same thing on the, on the next category free climb as well. 6.1 kilometers long this one, 6.5 in average. Not really that crazy of a climb. Neither steep nor long. Of course, this is a hill stage, so you can't really expect much. But up to 85 a bit, because I feel like um, they're really going fast. Astana has, a, has a, such a sick team. They set a pace up really high, so they couldn't even do anything at the first climb. Nibali, Fulsang, and Aru. I don't even know who they're working for. They're working for Aru. I think they are, because Aru is pretty much best in classification. And he's the best climber on the team as well. Richie Port, Michael Matthews after them. Ada Philippe, of course, who's second overall right now. I'm still sitting in good position. 71 riders remaining right now. And the uh, Peloton 72 riders. The last breakaway has been caught right now. I'm just progging in Valens apparently. And I think that's Nibali done for today. He's been setting pace really high all, the, all day long. Valens, Valverde attacking now, Contador as well. Gilbert and Alphilippe has gotten a tiny little hole to the rest of the Peloton. Aru now trying to join them. But not really the biggest gaps here. Did Matthews uh, Valverde get away? Uh, they have been caught again, everybody. So we have... Uh, the Peloton is pretty, pretty spread out right now on the downhill here. A lot of riders caught behind who will not be able to get up back before the next climb because that's really close on right now. One rider in front. Is that from the breakaway before? Yeah, it's Isagir. I think he's riding for Tinker Saxo, if I remember correctly. San Salvatore, two clowns long, 7%. Oh, this is going to be tricky. So how, how should I drive this? I think I'm going to use my gel here. Hopefully not being stuck behind too many riders here. Yeah, it is. He's a gear from Tinker Saxo. Out in front. He's almost been caught already because the, the Pelton is going so fast. I'm going 90. And that's not even close to uh, just driving away from these guys. Uh, am I being stuck behind this guy or what? I, don't, I can't get past him. Oh, finally. Okay, this is the category free climb done with. And I think that's Ella Philippe attacking. Again, I get stuck behind a lot of riders. Really annoying timing. Ella Philippe seems to be best again today. Again, I'm not losing in time, which is pretty much, again, my main goal. Saying again a lot, I know. Well, Philippe seems to be weak now. He now is coming. Uran on his wheel. 23 riders. I'm with them at least. Hopefully, I'm, I'm, I'm seem to be dying out now. I hope I hope there's not any time gaps created. I think I lost, like... Wow, well, I lost almost a half a minute here at the end. Uh, okay, I... The Sky Guys really died out as well. Three Sky Guys died out here at the end. Ben Swift actually made it over all of these three guys. Jungle's probably lost his jersey actually. He's doing so well, but he also has always made his, his energy levels. Uh, I should have gotten better than that. I had energy left, but I was I was hoping I could get a good result and it ended up actually backfiring on me. Let's see how much I lost. Okay, here are the results. Team Valens wins the stage. I ended up 22nd, as you can see. Lost 30 seconds, which is pretty sad. Because that 30 seconds can really come back to haunt me if I don't catch them in the time trial on the mountain stages. Uh, yeah, not a good result. I have to do my best to follow with Contador and Aru on the mountain stages now. And after our flat sprint stage, here we have the mountain stage. Looks pretty crazy, really long as well. One out of Calgary Mountain, and I think this one looking at how steep it is and how long it is, should be out of category as well. I'm really excited about this. Hopefully, I'll be racing against two of the biggest climbers in the game right now, um, Contador and Fabio. Uh, just missing Quintana. I think he's the best climber of the 85 in mountain stats right now. So let's just get it started, and hopefully I can get a good result here and then beat them in the time trial towards the end. 
We are almost at the mountain now. Looks really steep, really long as well. Over like probably like 10, 12 kilometers long, I would say. And this is going to be really interesting. Who I can actually this is compared to Yuri Teller, I think this is a lot tougher competition I'm up against. Astana is even stronger in this race than it were before. Nibali and Fangada and going full speed right now. So, of course, they won't be a threat overall, but still, they have Aru in the bag, and he can really do some damage. I'll put it up to 70 now, because I think the climb is starting here, yeah. So it's about being in a good position as possible and not being stuck behind slower teammates or opponents as well, because that can really hurt you here. Nibali, of course, still setting a pretty insane pace, I think. He's probably around 75, 85 now. Port Contador actually goes away. I, sh I don't know if I should go with them. Probably, I probably should, but I oh, Contador actually seems pretty weak already. Or maybe he's just saving energy and going at his own pace. I don't think the AI does that much. They just attack and then find a pace to who they can last to the top. With the Port, Nibali, Alaphilippe. I don't know how f how long Alaphilippe can last with this. The Port is actually, was considered uh, at the start a bigger favorite for this stage than me, even though I have better mount stats than him. He probably has some better endurance stats than me though. Jungels, who of course lost his yellow jersey to Alaphilippe yesterday. Still hanging on on top here, but he should fall off pretty soon. I'm almost up to Contador again. 16 minus remaining. Perot actually doing pretty well. He's 40 years old in the game, I think, right now. 40 years old. That's almost as old as Chris Horner was when he won the world. To so maybe he can do a miracle in this year's world as well. I don't think so though. Dumoulin, Pinot, uh, Nibli of course have worked all day. Mulema. So we have a four-man group here that I'm pulling along. Jungl still sitting up here. With the port and Uran as well. Who's also better than me in classification, I think. I'm actually better than Uran. I, oh yeah, I think he lost him on the first hill status. But I, I, he gained it back on the second one. I was sitting up there. He's probably going to win the Tour of Swiss unless... How great is he in time trial right now? 69, 79 for myself. It depends on how much time I can gain on him. He's, oh, he's a minute and a half ahead of me already. Plus a minute today. I, I don't think I can gain two and a half minutes on him on a 40 kilometer long time trial. Uh, Jungels falls off now. I'll try and put it up to 80, which pretty much cost Uran his energy. Richie Port as well now. I'm actually doing really well. Uh, down to 80. I want to do an 81. I like even numbers. This, it, it just makes me feel better than... I don't like going at 77, 76, 78, 79. I like 75 and 80. Even though sometimes it's probably be better to, to choose a number between if I really can't find the right the right uh, number to go on. Oh, Contador is done as well now. I'll slow it down a bit because I feel like I'm going to run out of energy soon. This is a long mountain, it's really steep, 11.7 kilometers and 10% on average, or almost 10, 9.9, .9. it's as close as you pretty much can get to 10% on average for such a long climb. Absolutely crazy mountain this one is. Uh, use my gel now here at last 3 kilometers or so. Just try, I'm pretty much, I have conceded the stage went to uh, Aru. I know I'm going to run out of India as well, that's just a fact. But it's pretty much... Damage limitation right now. How much can I limit the damages to? Oh, I'm a minute ahead of Consador, which is really surprising to me. I expected Consador to win this stage. Uh, Aru to come in second and me to come in third. Maybe battling with Richie Port. But I'm actually have really distanced the other guys. I don't know when they've lost so much energy. Maybe they just underestimated the mountain. The length of the mountain or maybe just the steepness of the mountain. But see, I'm completely dead now and so is uh, Aru. So we're both... I'm actually hanging on my steering wheel. I was not, so I think he has some sprint power left. This is pretty f close. I'm expecting him to sprint soon. And... Because otherwise I'll, I'm, I'm slowly overtaking him right now. I don't know. Yeah, now he's, he's, he's jumping in the saddle right now. He's sprinting as well. Wow, he just managed to beat me for the stage by like 10 seconds. Maybe we even got the same time. But we beat... Contador by two minutes. Contador is coming down there, and then it's Uran, Richie Port, and Mulema. Actually, another quick step rider. That's actually a great result. So I was well, like 130, 137 behind him, plus bonus seconds, of course, of this stage. So I need to catch two minutes on him on the last time trial. 
let's go to the time trial and see if we can make that happen. Okay, just before the time trial and just checking out results. 12 seconds are lost to him, but a bonus second, so I'm 153 after him. Need to beat him by 2 minutes in the final time trial. Just check a look at it here. 38 kilometers long, bit hilly, but still classified as flat. So I was hoping for a little hill at the end, because that usually really uh, destroys some of the stronger opponents. So the AI isn't good at hill time trials and mount time trials. I've already figured that out. That's pretty much where I'm winning most of my um, state wins. But yeah, great result here. Beating Contador, uh, Uran, Richie Port by over two minutes, and uh, some of the others by over four or five minutes as well. It's absolutely amazing. And now it's pretty much, I've already guaranteed top three. I don't think Contador or anybody else behind me will overtake me in the time trial. So unless something happens at the flat status, we should just go to the. Oh, wait a minute. Just got an XP bonus, which means we're allowed level 20. Let's see our stats. Yeah, of course, we have lost one in time trial, but that's not that that sad. Uh, Hill plus one, acceleration plus one, stamina plus one, recovery plus one, but I think we have to go to the, to the stats in here, actually, to really see what's happening. Uh, see, here you can see the stats. I have 78 time trial now, or 79 before, 77 hill now, 70 stamina, and 68 acceleration. So better acceleration, better stamina, and better recovery as well, I think. So some nice le little levels up here. Hill that is pretty important for me. I'm actually now the best uh, hill rider on the entire team, which probably gives me captaincy roles for the monuments later on, if I decide to stay on the team for next season, of course. I don't know that yet, but I have to decide probably in the next video to do so. Let's just get to the time trial. Okay, this is the deciding schedule to the Swiss. I have to put up a pretty great time trial because I need to gain two minutes on Fabio. He's 152 sec seconds, one minute and 52 seconds ahead of me. You can see too far. Probably need to get around top three, top five. And I want this to do pretty poorly if I want to have a chance at, at slow overtaking him. It's possible. I have a good time trial that he doesn't. So this is my chance. Uh, just need to find the right pace. I think I should go around 60 probably to begin with. And that's just a, a complete guess, but maybe it'll work out. I don't, I'm not that worried about the time at the first and second checkpoint, because... I mean, it is going downhill towards the end, but I know I can gain some time if I save up some energy for that. And I've seen a lot of riders from my team already losing a lot of time at the last checkpoint, and because they've gone out really fast, and the riders with a good day ship, and I'm actually plus two today, uh, have some energy left at the end, can really gain up a lot of time in the last from the last checkpoint to the finish line. So that's what I'm going for. Just want to check the time here. How far after I'm, who's in lead now? Tony Martin in front of Rohan Dennis. And I think we have the checkpoint just up there. You can see it's the sprint mark, as they call it sprint, even though it is just a time check. I'm 12th. That's a great result, actually. And I've not used a lot, a lot of energy yet. So I can't check Aru. It's lost 11 seconds to me so far. So at least I'm uh, on track. But this could go both really well and really badly. I mean, he's 44th. And I'm 12th. So... I don't know how big the difference is. I'm almost closing in on Contador right now, but he's actually done a bit worse than Aru. Actually, he's done the same. Now he's worse than me as well. Ninth right now. I've moved up a bit. 55 seconds after Tony Martin right now. Now I'll try and put up to 70 here towards the end on the flat section, downhill section as well. I want to see Aru's time as well. I'm, uh, I was, what, 55 seconds after. So it needs to be over three minutes after, I think. Two minutes. So I've already gained one minute on uh, Aru. And there's still another 10, 12 kilometers to go. Still 10 kilometers for me. I like. I don't like that I'm scrolling my mouse wheel. It just skips me. So I have to click on myself on my name to see my time. When I'm scrolling back and forth to compare times. Put up to 75 here. It's going a bit too much downhill, I would like, yeah, it goes a bit flat here and uphill, and then downhill again towards the finish line. 
So this is on this little hill here where I consider is on is standing up in his in his seat right now. That's where I need to gain some time here. I don't know if 85 is too much. I'm pretty close to him now. See, I knew that they were going to overuse the power. I did not expect to be overtaken Contador at this stage. That's really surprising to me. I actually think I'm going to win this. I think I'm going to gain a lot of time on the last checkpoint here. So I'm losing a surprisingly small amount of energy right now. I, oh, I ended up losing by one second to Tony Martin. Uh, but... Oh my... I, he needs to. He was almost like two minutes after. Let's see, can we check his time here? He was two minutes after. He needs to gain time on Tony Martin on the last checkpoint. I, I have pretty much won this already. Consador comes in here, 227 after. So I will probably around 240, 250 after I would imagine. Let's see. He still has two minutes and uh, two climbers still so far to go. 240, yeah, pretty close to what I said. Uh, yes, another victory. Second place on the stage, sadly enough. Couldn't take the victory. Pretty tough to beat Tony Martin though. Ended up winning overall. I did not expect to win this tour, especially after seeing competition. But I did really well on the mountain stage, and the time trial was on a perfect time for me. And I pretty much nailed the tactics on this stage, almost at least. Not quite enough to win. Best young rider, of course. Uh, overall team, Astana is pretty dominant. Actually, we got third. Of course, we have uh, Perot, who is the next best rider on the team in the mountains. But yet another victory for Francis Dessieux and me. I just quickly, just to prank a bit, I'll show you. Actually, I'll go one day forward first and then uh, pause it just to see if the results updates. Next up is, I'll just tell you right now, the next video I'll do is uh, the Danish Championships because I really want to win that. I have been racing the last two years now. First year I got second overall. Le last year I got, I think I got sixth or seventh because I wrote the final badly. And this year, I really want to win it. I'm also going to do a contract signing. Maybe I'll extend my contract with Francis Tissue. Maybe I'll move to an even bigger team. I feel like that's more likely that I'm actually going to move again because it's fun to move around on different teams, I think. And I want to get to a team with a bit better help us for the mountain stages and time trials. And then we're going to do Classic San Sebastian as well. And that's pretty much it. And I think the next time again will probably be the start of World Espana. So yeah, you could look forward to that. But I want to check you the Sire World Tour rankings right now. I'm in the lead and I'm actually dominating right now. Over 100 points, that's an entire monument win ahead of the next guy, Daniel Martin. Considor in third, Bitkovsky in fourth. Of course, I think there's 200 points or so for winning Tour de France. So Froome, the only way I can actually win and overtake me is pretty, pretty much Considor. Froome is too far behind, I think. Maybe it's 250, I can't remember exactly. Teams, we're actually doing pretty well considering what a weak team we have. Uh, it's pretty much me getting 500 after 600 points and then Demar getting the rest of them. It's enough for us not to get relegated. My old team is pretty much relegated because they don't have me anymore. Contensal I am cycling and uh, MT in Quebec are looking to get promoted back again. And Super Prestige we are sixth. Looking at Super Prestige here, I am also well in the lead, almost 1000 points more than Degen Kurban cuts at all. So pretty much really dominant right here. And victories, I'm not doing that well here. I've got a lot of second and third places, but a lot of overall victories instead. So, good result. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Next up is the Danish Championships. Hoping to wear the red and white jersey next year for my for my country. And let's see what team I will sign with. I have no idea yet. I haven't thought about it. Um, let's just get on. And if you really like this video, remember to like it. And comment if you have any advice for me. Or any advice on what, what team I should move on to. Uh, I should, yeah, do that if you want to. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, uh, I post a lot of these videos almost every day right now. I will start posting uh, similar gameplay soon from other sports games. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.